and we're making French onion soup. Normally, you're standing at the stove, it takes forever to stir those onions. We're skipping all of that, and we are just tossing in a whole bunch of onions right into our instant pot. And here. shallot. Oh, and shallot, yes. Yes, and shallot. We got some shallots going on in there, and a little bit of butter. We're gonna do like six tablespoons or so of butter. Okay. I'll just do that while yeah, you're getting the Yeah, you grab the, the butter, the... I'll grab the onions. I already smell like you know garlic what? anyway, we'll so who cares? We'll just go for that whole stick, right, Rachel? <laughs> oh, just throw it in just there. Just throw it in there. Perfect. <laughs> and the beauty of this is you don't have to stir these onions. They're gonna caramelize. We're gonna add a little bit of honey to help them. Oh, help I love them. the honey. Yes. I love to squish his belly. It's so fun, right? Just a little bit to help them caramelize and yep. get that sweetness out. We're gonna lock the lid. And this will cook for about 20 minutes. And uh, I always It's have, amazing that you can caramelize onions I always have in a little minutes. bit of a hard time. I know, it's like the food processor. I got it, Look, though. you did you that so it. well. Oh, you I did it right it. away. I know, I know, it was so good. It's the so, small thing. But here's the, this is the really fun part, because 20 minutes later, you have like... It looks like you've been cooking well, them forever. You have like caramelized onions. Look at that. Amazing, right? I know. So, so easy. And we didn't stir anything. So easy. And effortless. effortless. Completely effortless. Love now that. what goes in? Okay, so now we're gonna kind of like finish up the soup. We're gonna add some flour to thicken it up. Right. And then herbs. I'm such a big herb person. I love using fresh herbs. Of course. So we got some sage going down and in there. And his best buddy, thyme. Oh, Throw right. some thyme in. Such hearty, cozy, warming winter herbs. And then a couple bay leaves. And then uh, why don't you add in some wine, Rachel? And I'll, sure. do, the, I'll do the beef stock. Like, I'm happy to add in wine anytime. I know, just, I just eyeball it, right? So good. Some wine. And this is such a great recipe for these winter holidays. And stock in a box. So easy. And you want some Worcestershire in there? Yes, please, throw that in. A little Worcestershire sauce. Mmm. <laughs> Love it. Delicious. And so, beef stock, of course, of that course. rich, 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 almost chocolatey, like mm. a caramel chocolate color when it's all put it's, together. It's great. Mm. Amazing. So now all we do is, again, we lock that lid, season it up with some salt and pepper maybe? Do we miss sure, that? Sure, 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 sure. Gotta, can't forget your seasonings, guys. Gotta right. season it up. Imagine salt and pepper. Salt and pepper's going in. It's there, we're good. I don't know how to lock these things. I know, Whatever, there's you know a done what? one. Let's there's move a, along. Let's, let's go on, yes. <laughs> and we have French onion salad. Voila! And it smells incredible. I'm gonna uh. stick this back over here. Now, so now here's a ladle. Right, so now we're finishing it. We're adding the really, really good part, which is the toast and the cheese, right? Yeah. So I'll let you. I out. mean, really, the only reason we eat the French onion soup is to get the cheesy crouton, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Love a nice cheesy melted soup. There we go. Perfect. I want to make sure we make time for the uh, mac and cheese too. <laughs> Did she come in with crowd pleasers or what? Right. French yes. onion soup and mac and cheese. December, we need our comfort food. It's cold, it's Christmas time, holidays are here. I'll just stop this one off so they get the they get the gist. All right, yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit, there's a lot of soup here. All right, so. Go for your cheese. Lots and lots of cheese on the sliced bread. And then you wanna throw oh, it over the Yeah, bread. like you you care that there's too you much can, cheese. You can never have too much cheese. Right. Little and then I'll garnish thyme. a little fresh Perfect. thyme. And you throw that under the broiler. Until the they come out melted. brown and bubbly. Home side. 